Hey Capricorn, Shara here. Hope you guys are doing good, kicking ass today, and liking this video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification. Let's get into it. Let's see who is coming toward Virgo in love. If you would like a personal reading, because this is a general, make sure that you check it out in the description and find out how to do that. There's also some other cool stuff in the description as well, if you're interested. So, let's see what is coming toward Capricorn. Oi, somebody could be getting married or somebody could be going to court for something. Some kind of documentation or some kind of truth is coming out. Okay. Somebody is going, they're coming in hard and fast, okay? This is like a solid opportunity. This is very quick moving energy. It's just like really coming in really, really fast. Who is this person coming toward Capricorn? Okay, so it could be an earth sign somebody who ignored you before and now they want to come back this person could help you um to get, become more like financially stable or um help you get on your feet or but this could be a virgo taurus capricorn there's a third party involved that has happened like repeatedly right For some of you, it's not even a third party. It's that this person works a lot. It could be a third party, okay? I'm not ruling that out just yet. But um, this person could be working so much to the point where they don't have time to be social or, you know, even slide up in your DMs or say hey or whatever. You know, some jobs don't allow phones. And if this person is, like, super exhausted, it's like somebody wants to come in quicker than the other. So the person coming toward you um, could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn or have that in their chart. They could have kids, okay, but they're very focused on their money, on their finances. Yeah, the, okay, so this person is really struggling. They're doing a lot. They probably are a single parent because the other parent is not involved or something like that is what I'm getting. Wow, they're really doing the most. It also looks like they're, they could be like looking for a house, looking to move. They're just doing a lot. They're just doing a lot right now. And you want to come in and like maybe help this person. How is Capricorn coming toward this person? Okay, you feel like there's no hope in this situation. Okay, because it's almost like they're working so hard and maybe you feel like they don't have any time for you. Maybe they got snappy with you. Could be dealing with the Libra. Doesn't have to be, but um, we also have Aquarius here. Why is Capricorn coming as a star towards this, or star reversed as, toward this person? Why is this or reversed here okay because I feel like you feel neglected okay maybe you feel neglected you feel like you are ready to come out it's like you're ready to come out and play and this person is like work 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 yeah This person could also be like getting rid of a car or getting a new car or getting their car fixed, okay? But I feel like this person is also like just really focused on their career, moving forward, achieving their goal. How should Capricorn come toward this person? Don't, don't give it, okay, don't. 
you might be spying on them, you might, you know, or they might be spying on you, checking out your social media just to keep you in check or something like that. But don't come toward this person yet. They're not ready. They're not ready. Okay. This person is really struggling with their, like trying to achieve their goals or doing, they're, they're just, they're doing something. Capricorn. Do you have another choice? Hmm? Okay, because I see somebody else is coming in toward you. Could be a fire sign, but um, you've got another person coming in, and I feel like you're going to choose this new person. Tell me more about this new person. Oi! Okay, so this... Uh, why do I feel like you already know this person? Okay, because in the middle here sticking out was the four of wands. This is somebody you could have met this person at a party. You could have worked with this person. This is like a foundation has already been built. But um, this person masturbates thinking about you, okay? I'm just saying. Look at that. The, yeah. They they are really, really attracted to you. So this is like maybe new ish. Maybe you you've like dealt with this person before. Or you've known this person before. Maybe it was like a friend. How's this new person coming towards Capricorn? Oi! Okay. Okay, they don't know what you want out of the situation. Okay. So, this is... That's a good omen, guys. Okay. And we've got that Queen of Cups here. So, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do have fire here. I have lots of fire here. They could have that in their charts. Tell me more about this Will of Fortune. You cannot make this shit up. This is going to... Okay, sex is going to be bomb. This is something... It's like... Like fucking around and falling in love. Alright? You didn't intend... Or you... This is what's going to play out. You're not going to intend to really like fall in love with this person but it's like you guys could like I don't know maybe like sleep over a few nights and then be like okay we're not moving out because we're inseparable is what I'm getting Okay, this card right here to me is like an elope. Like, you guys might sneak off and have a Vegas wedding or something. You know, that's what... I like this new person, okay? This new person has got class. This person is fun. This person has the emotions. This, you know, this person's pretty smooth. All right, what's the outcome in this situation going to be? Give me one second because... Because the overall energy is the tower. Let me get another one. Because I don't want to tell y'all something wrong. I don't like to be wrong, y'all. Y'all are going to know. Y'all are going to know that this is the one. This is like unconditional love. If this person has any um, insecurities or if you have any insecurities or anything like that, this person is 
loving you. This person is showing you who they are, you know, it's like honesty, unconditional love. Like they love everything about you, your fat rolls, your stretch marks, your whatever, okay? Which everybody should, because we all have them. All right, and this is like discipline, like the King of Swords knows what he wants directly, okay? So, this person, the outcome is like an unconditional love. You guys are going to end up in a relationship. It could be moving really fast. I believe that this is real love. I do believe that this is true love. What's your advice to Capricorn? Yeah, whatever you have going on, um, past energy, you need to get rid of it because you got that new cup coming in. All right, so things are dying out. Don't worry about this past person. They're doing whatever they're doing, okay? They're doing whatever they're doing. Um, so it's like you have two choices. You got one person that's dealing with their own shit that, you know, they're working, they're focused on their work and stuff. And then you've got this new person who's coming in who can soothe everything about you, who really does care about you. I think this other person cares about you too, but they care about their money more. But I think you're having a hard time. You're going to have a hard time making a decision. But if you choose the new person, you know, the other person, not the past person that's focused on their money and, you know, forgot about you, this person who is giving you unconditional love or who will give you unconditional love, you know, it's your choice. This other person's going to come back around. But you have to make the decision. You choose what you want in your life. Okay? That's just how it works. And it's you who reaps the karma of those choices. So, anyway. So, I like, I like this new person. I think that you should go with this new person. Um, but... Yeah, this other person is going to come back around. So, I can't make the choice for you. I can tell you what to do, but you don't have to do it. I like the new person. That's all I got to say. All right, guys, this is a general reading. And if you would like a personal, um, you can check the description and see how to do that. Otherwise, just... I will talk to you later. Love you guys so much. Bye.